Getting ready to buy or sell a home? Do you want to help support pro-life organizations? Then you need Real Estate for Life. Get a top-notch real estate agent and support pro-life causes. Go to realestateforlife.org to learn more. The Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, during this Friday of the Ember Week in Lent, the first week in Lent, we consider the beautiful episode of this uh, paralytic at a uh, pond in, uh, near the Temple of Jerusalem where Jesus was on that day. He went up to Jerusalem. There was a festival day of the Jews. And uh, he came to this pond, which is called in uh, Hebrew Bethsaida and uh, Probatica, the pond of the sheep, literally. There were many people just sitting there, and especially sick people, waiting for the water to have a, a supernatural motion. It was believed so. An angel came from time to time to move the water, and the first who got into the water was healed. They were lame and uh, all kinds of sick people waiting for this miraculous water to be healed. There was also a paralytic man who laid in his condition since 38 years, waiting for the time, for his time perhaps to be healed by this water. Jesus came along and saw him and he knew that he had that paralysis since a long time. And Jesus asked him, what do you want? What are you doing here? And he said, I'm waiting for the water to be now to get into this motion and to be perhaps healed. And Jesus said to him, take up your bed and go home. He was on, on a Sabbath. It was a Saturday. And uh, when the Jews saw this miracle happening, they were, of course, complaining to Jesus or complaining to the man first. They didn't know that it was Jesus who made that miracle. It is not lawful for you to take up your bed on Saturday. Regardless of his disease, of his condition, it is not all right. You have to stick to the law. But what is very significant in this dialogue, especially the dialogue between Jesus and the man, the sick man who was healed by Jesus' word, is the fact that uh, Jesus found him again and uh, told him, look, man, you have been healed miraculously, but seen no more, lest some think some worse thing happen to you. This is the main teaching that we have in this scriptural passage, the Gospel of St. John, chapter 5. Another very significant uh, detail, but not a detail, proving the historicity of this fact is that John, in his Gospel, is describing perfectly this pond in Jerusalem made by five porches. The archaeological excavations has found exactly that pond described by John with five porches. So this is a, a historical uh, data, very, very important to also understand the historicity of the fact as well. But Jesus says to this man, sin no more. 
we then understand that the reason why that man was paralytic was his sin. And this is the only case we have in the gospel where the sickness is directly linked by Jesus with sin. There is also another case of miraculous cure. You remember the blind man since his birth uh, cured by Jesus. The disciples were asking who sent himself or his parents to be in that condition. And Jesus replied, no one. But this disease was in order to give glory to God with that miracle. So this is the case where uh, this man is affected by his problem, his paralysis, because of his sin. Can a sin also affect a, a bodily life, a health condition? Yes, it can. Because man is made by God. He is a unity of body and soul. Whatever is against our soul is against our body and vice versa. We then understand that if we uh, have a very good conversion as we should during this Lent, also our body is healed. Also our health is improved because in any case, this spiritual life, spiritual health is something to give us life. It gives us a new life, a life that makes us whole. Finally, if we want to also have a more spiritual, allegorical understanding of this passage, we can quote St. Augustine, who uh, commented on this gospel. He wrote the whole commentary on the gospel of St. John. In dealing with this passage, St. Augustine says that 40, the number 40 is the fullness of the law. Quadraginta, this is also the reason why we have 40 days in Lent and 40 is very central in the Bible, 40 is the fullness of the law. But we also know that the very heart of the law is the precept of love, charity, love God above all other things, and love your neighbor as yourself. Two precepts. So this man lacked these two precepts of love to make that number 40. He had a need to be healed by Jesus to have this charity. In fact, he didn't have this charity because he was laying in sin. The charity of Christ, the love of Christ made him whole so that he could match with his life the fullness of love the fullness of law, which is the gospel of Christ. Let us try to uh, see at this gospel from this spiritual perspective, to have to try to strive every day after this, this uh, commandment to, be, to love God and to love a neighbor in order to have that spiritual healing to be healed bodily and uh, in our soul by Jesus our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.